Hello and welcome to the player prop video for New York Giants at Dallas Cowboys for Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving to you. Quick side note before you get started, Maryland Sports Betting is now live, so check out lineups.com and get all your Maryland Sports Betting promos, legal betting guides, and all that good jazz. So, a lot of player props up. I feel good about this game. In general, Jacob, I think you know, doing a lot better this season with player props than I am with game picks. How are you feeling about this uh, player prop slate? Good. I think this is definitely a game that presents a lot of value. Um, and I'll be curious to see if we have similar, similar takes on the props here. Well, I mean, spoiler if you already watched the game, or you haven't watched the game picks video, but I was talking about the rushing game for basically literally everyone involved. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think any single one of the rushing lines, I don't hate the overs. There's some juice to all of them, and I'd probably be shopping them around. But in general, Tony Pollard over 67 and a half for me is an absolute bet. Um, I may look at his rushing plus receiving when that's released instead. I like Saquon over 74 and a half. I don't mind Zeke over 45 and a half. I like Daniel Jones over 39 and a half. I just, I think both these defenses are going to get gashed a bit on the ground. I think this game is going to present itself to the ground game. What do you think about for you? Yeah, I'm not flat fading. Saquon Barkley at this point, but I, I mean, it's definitely concerning. Like, he put up 15 carries for 22 yards against the Lions defense that has sucked against the run all season. And you look at his splits from the first five games to the second five games this year. Uh, this is from Jacob Gibbs on Twitter. He put out um, avoided tackle rate has dropped from 23% to 12% from the first five games to the second five games. Explosive rush rate, 13% to 8%. And EPA has dropped a ton um, from the first few games to the second five, minus 2.2 per snap to minus 12.6 per snap. So effectiveness overall has just really gone down. And I mean, I, I think part of that is probably the, the workload that he's gotten and how much he's being utilized and like the wear and tear of the, playing the running back position. But it's also the fact that they're continuing playing just a ton of stacked boxes because they have no passing game. And it's really problematic because he's just getting met at the line of scrimmage consistently behind an offensive line that just doesn't do much for him in terms of yards before contact. Um, I don't know. It, like, on Saquon, it would be an underplay for me, if anything, on the rushing yardage, just for those reasons. But I'm not going to want to fade him necessarily on things here. Just because he's such a great player. But it, it is worth noting that his efficiency has gone down. It's just tough for me, Jacob, because these are the lines for the number one running back up against Dallas going back four games. 24 for 138 for Aaron Jones, 11 for 72 for Dalvin Cook, and he should have gotten the ball more on the ground, but won't get into that. 16 for 99 for Cleo Herbert, and 14 for 79 for Jamal Williams. Like, like I actually agree with you, and it is a little nerve-wracking, but it's just... This Dallas Cowboys team is not good against the run. The linebacking core isn't there. Their pass, the, their defensive line, like, it's not bad against the run, but they all want to sack the quarterback, and they all leave their gaps wide open. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why you've seen them You're be susceptible to... That's why you've seen, this, seen them be susceptible to explosive runs this season. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like, if anything, I might take the longest rush over for Saquon. Uh, they don't have it posted on... Draft things at the moment, but you've seen this this run defense. Like their overall success rate has been very good, but they have been more susceptible to explosive runs. So that might be worth a look over his like total rushing yardage number. If that if that interests him, it's very interesting. Currently, I'm using the player prop search tool. Sportsbooks have his longest reception, but not his longest rush, <laughs> which is frustrating. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I think that's where I'm going to pivot to to make an official play. But for now, official play is Tony Pollard over. Rushing yards at 67 and a half. I will switch that to rushing plus receiving once it comes out. So I guess that's not official either. But uh, how about you, Jacob? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going with Dalton Schultz in this game. Um, bit of a lesser production for him last week. Just 3 for 22 and a blowout win. But he does have 5 plus targets in each of his last 4 games. And last week was the first time with Dak Prescott where he's fallen below this receiving yardage number. Uh, he had averaged almost 60 yards per game with Prescott previously in the 5 power games with him in the lineup. And you look at this Giants defense, and they rank 31st in DVOA against tight ends, allowing about 60 receiving yards per game to the position. Um, so I'm going to take his receiving yardage yardage over. Uh, you can get that at 35.5 on DraftKings right now. But look around, uh, see if you can get a better number there. And then I'm also going to be playing his touchdown prop 
in this game. Um, it's at plus 200 on DraftKings. Again, make sure to chop the numbers. We, we talked about in the last video how the touchdown props can have a pretty wide gap um, across the board, but I'm probably going to be playing just a little sprinkle on his first touchdown score as well. I played it last week, and they targeted him twice, I believe, on that first drive in the red zone. Didn't come to fruition, but definitely I think he's a key guy for them in that area. So so you can get the first touchdown score. The best one is actually on DraftKings at plus 1,100. And then his anytime score, the best one is on Caesars at plus 220, currently plus 200 on DraftKings. So All right, so I'll, I'll put it. I'll put a half unit on the first touchdown score and a full unit on the anytime touchdown score for this video. All right. I like it. For me, I mean, I, I already mentioned I, I kind of like Daniel Jones over rushing yards in this game. I don't know if it's enough to make an official play. I feel like I actually have a lot more leans in this game than I do official plays the more I sit down and think about it. Like, I feel like I have a, very, a pretty good grip on what this game script is going to be. But do I have it enough to put my money where my mouth is? <laughs> and I don't know about that. I guess Daniel Jones passing props. You know what? Give me under a half passing touchdown plus 160. I think that's good enough value without, like Jacob mentioned in the betting picks video, and maybe this video too, zero weapons. There's no weapons left in the receiving game. They are all gone. They have all just headed to the IR. And then you got Kenny Galladay collecting like $80 trillion checks on the sideline. Like there's nothing left left for this for Daniel Jones I feel bad because Dable's actually created an offense that he can thrive in but he legitimately has no one to pass the football to and in general I think this secondary is better than I thought it was so plus 160 odds I think you know a majority of times he does score a touchdown this game in the air but again plus 160 I that doesn't matter I'm getting good value here and I like that play I'm very tempted to, to lock in his passing yardage under for those reasons as well. Um, I think it's a pretty sharp number at 194.5. Um, I'm pretty tempted to play it at that, at that price, but he did have 341 passing yards against the Lions last week, but that, I mean, this is obviously a much better defense, goes without saying. They do rank second in uh, fewest passing yards per game allowed, just 174. They've allowed just two quarterbacks all season to go over their listed passing yardage prop. Held Kirk Cousins to 105 passing yards last week. Held Jalen Hurts to 155 a few weeks ago. And, like, uh, I, I, I definitely lean to the under. Danny Jones did have 196 passing yards against this team uh, when they met earlier in the year, but that was with probably a better, healthier wide receiver room than he has now. Um, how do you feel about that, about that prop? No, I like it. I think I'm going to put a half unit on that as well. And mainly because all the reasons you said, but, again, I also think the Giants – rush the football. Like, if they're going to see success, yeah. it's going to be on the ground. They're not going to be getting chunk plays in the air in this one. I, I just... I think, weirdly enough, this is very much a backwards game script for Dable where he... The only reason he's passing is to set up the run. Like, that's the only reason I'd pass in this game if I'm the Giants. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they kind, they kind of do that. They've been doing that all year, like, regardless of game script. And, I mean, they haven't necessarily been down in a lot of games, but... I definitely think they'll continue to run the ball, even if the Cowboys pull ahead by a little bit. Yeah, that's it for me. I mean, that's those are my props. I'm under on Daniel Jones passing, basically over on a lot of the rushing, but I'm waiting for some key numbers to come out. Um, I guess I'll make Tony Pollard over 67.5 rushing yards at minus 110 an official play. I, I do think he still burns them on the ground. I just somewhat prefer his, you know, rushing plus receiving. We saw what he can do through the air against the Vikings. Um, yeah. But I want, I want to make something official for him in this video. So I'll put a half unit there, and probably it's going to be a full unit on the, the rush receive. He's so good, man. <laughs> He's so good. He's it's so ridiculous. freaking good. He's so good uh, that uh, fire truck just went by to put him so out. He's on he's fire. On fire. <laughs> um, DraftKings has a special, like a Thanksgiving special. It's called Fresh from the Field. Tony Pollard, 75-plus rushing yards and 50-plus receiving yards for plus 350 odds. It's kind of enticing. What do you think about that? That's enticing, but DraftKings is notorious for this. Let me go create it myself in the same game parlay and see if I get better odds. <laughs> so you get 75-plus rushing yards, and then receiving yards was 50-plus for Pollard? Yeah. Okay, so if you do that in DraftKings, you get plus 850 odds. So Seriously? they're liars, and they're stealing <laughs> Wait, money. Plus 850? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, if you take Tony Pollard over 74 and a half rushing yards and over 45 and a half or, or 45 plus receiving yards, you get plus 850. That is insane. That's wild. So we're gonna um, go put we're gonna sprinkle a half unit on that <laughs> instead. That's um, good learning experience for for myself and everybody watching this video. Um, don't get hoodwinked by, by these specials and these boots because damn that is that is uh, pretty messed up. Um, before we get out of here, one more I want to bring up super quickly. I think Noah Brown might have a decent game here. He has been playing seventy five percent of snaps in every game. The targets have kind of come and gone. Only five over the last two weeks, which is a little bit concerning, but. The Giants, as we know, play man at the highest rate in the NFL, and his yards per route run against man is almost twice as many uh, versus as it is versus zone. Seventeen point four yards per route, uh, yards per reception versus man coverage. So, I think um, do they even have his receiving yardage line? Yeah, they don't even have it up right now. Oh no, they do. Twenty six and a half. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. All right, that's a nice number. So. Official plays. Half unit for Tony Pollard over 67.5 rushing yards for me. Over 35.5 receiving yards for Jacob for Dalton Schultz. He also has any time touchdown score plus 200 full unit. Half unit on the first touchdown score plus 1100. He has a half unit, or I have a half unit on Daniel Jones under plus 160, or no, under plus 160, under half pass touchdown. No passing touchdowns for Daniel Jones at plus 160. We're both on his under passing yards at minus 115. That line is at 193. We created our own Thanksgiving special. Thanks for nothing, DraftKings. We got over <laughs> 74 and a half rushing yards for Pollard. And then 45 plus receiving yards at God. plus 850. And then that's going to be a half unit play. And then Noah Brown over 26 and a half receiving yards for Jacob at minus 115. A lot of bets. It's going to wrap things up. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets and hit the subscribe button to see more content. Check out the other Thanksgiving Day videos. Check out the Bane Picks video of this matchup, and we'll see you for the next one very soon.